Hi, I'm Jed Thompson with the Joint Institute for the Study of the Atmosphere and Ocean, and this is Science in 180. Many people dream about taking a sailboat just to get away from it all. But for scientists, it can be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for research. Around the Americas is a, what we might call a voyage of discovery. We're not going out to prove a particular hypothesis. We're not going out to try to test something, and that's how science usually works. We're just going around, and we're taking measurements with us as we go. The idea is to sail completely around North and South America in a sailboat, all in one trip. The Joint Institute for the Study of the Atmosphere and Ocean at the University of Washington is the sponsor for the sun photometer experiment as part of Around the America. A sun photometer is an instrument that looks at the sun. And this small handheld but really quite accurate instrument are used over the ocean to fill in where we don't have such good data coverage as we do over the land. It measures how much of the solar radiation actually reaches the ground. Since we know how much solar radiation occurs at the top of the atmosphere, then if we know how much occurs at the ground, we can tell how much was removed from that beam from the top of the atmosphere to the ground, and that tells us something about the composition of the material that's in the way. And the things that might be in the way would be molecules, which scatter radiation and make blue skies, aerosol particles, little particles in the atmosphere that scatter uh, radiation and essentially make the sky white or brown depending on the characteristics of the aerosol. You can think of something like dust or a fire uh, plume or clouds. So the sun photometer doesn't really tell us anything about clouds. It tells us something about molecules, uh, some kinds of molecules that absorb radiation, for instance water vapor, and these aerosol particles. Aerosol particles are an important part of the climate system because they reflect solar radiation back to space. So the planet absorbs less solar radiation than it would otherwise have because of these particles that are in the atmosphere. So we have expertise in the use of the instrument, we have expertise in the use of the data, and again it was sort of a logical um, outreach for us to take on this project and to work with the data when it comes back. For more information on the Sun Photometer Project at Juseo, visit our website at juseo.washington.edu. And for more information about Around the Americas, visit their site at aroundtheamericas.org. I'm Jed Thompson, and this has been Science in 180. Thanks for watching.